Good morning um, to the community of Aerial Solutions. Uh, it's the thir third day of the Intergeo, and I want to present you some um, so thought sli slides about uh, how to create a digital twin. Um, first of all, one, one um, short information about the cooperation between uh, DJI and Globeflight. Globeflight is the general distributor for um, the DJI Enterprise products in Germany and Austria, and we have a very strong cooperation with DJI and work very strong together and very successful. And with our uh, more or less 100 uh, uh, resellers in both countries, we make the business of DJI Enterprise products. Okay, that's all for the introduction. Now, now we have two, two major tasks and, um, for the surveying society that we have discussed into the um, UAV um, section. Uh, one is BIM, uh, the B building information modeling and how to create the, the data for, for the BIM process. And one is upcoming, and especially here in Germany, is a question of a digital twin, not for the uh, machine manufacturers, that's a complete other um, discussion, more or less here for the urban space. And uh, here, the products in the UAV section is upcoming to a very important solution, how to create the digital twins. And um, in the discussion here at the Intergeo, we, we discussed already three major points. One is the point how is the accuracy and how, how many, how uh, is the um, requirements of the accuracy for a digital twin? What level of detail, what is needed for a digital twin in an urban space? And at which intervals have we um, updated the digital twins? Is it in the last time when we start the aerial um, Surveying solution, we started with five years, with six years. Um, actually, it's more or less uh, three years, and it's increasing for the next um, year. So I expect that we um, talk about a one-year update or uh, an update when a, when a building was built. And here we have three different um, possibilities to create the digital twin. One is the terrestrial. Uh, laser scanning, the terrestrial laser scanning, um, and the mobile mapping that creates a very high uh, size of information in a very short time. But these both um, solution is very limited in a, in a high uh, above the ground. You know it as a specialist um, that uh, you can use this uh, to solutions at a height of maybe 20 meters, then it's over. And what's about all the information in the urban space, what is uh, above 20 meters? And here the um, UAV is the best solution to create the data that we need. And um, here the UAVs are a very good solution because it's simple to use. Uh, large areas can be um, covered in a very short time. The flight times are increasing, so um, you can reach a, a, a very large area in a, in a very short time. Um, and with new payloads that I will present today to you, um, you have uh, more detailed information with only one flight. And here I will show you two, two major projects from our side, and the general problem here the, are the regulations um, from the Aviation Authority that is a little bit bumping here the, the um, possibilities of UAV using in Europe. Today I will show you at first a project with a share camera, with an oblique camera, that we expect in a very important way for um, the creating a digital twin in an urban space. The oblique camera has this uh, special um, 
saying that um, they have five camera and you make five images at one point of flying. And um, we tested here in Germany in, um, in a mid-sized town in, in, in Hessen near Kassel. It's a um, community of Bieber, Hof Bieber. And um, this town needs some more information for urban plannings, for um, flood protection plannings, and for heavy rain simulations. They need the digital twin to do this job. And um, we have a special partner there um, who is creating the digital twin. And I want to show you a small flight. Um, here we have the area of five square kilometers with more than 40,000 images from this oblique camera. And the flight time was one working day. That was uh, quite easy. And uh, we need a processing time with DJI Terra around about uh, 30 hours. And I can show you a little results, the first results of this project. And um, ah, I have a laser beamer, perfect. Here you see a very detailed information about the town. And um, you see here the colors are very good. Um, and I marked three, er uh, four areas that is very special when you lose, use an oblique camera because you can collect more information for a vertical, um, for all vertical um, walls. And you see here a very, ah, you, I, the laser is not working at the screen, that's normal. You see um, at the rooftops, at the corner of the roofs, it's very clear, very precise to collect. When we looked at the church, you see a lot of details. And, in the vertical walls of the church and very detailed. That's only one, one flight um, at around about uh, 100 meters about, about gro above ground. Yeah, okay, that's... Okay, the rest of the present, present I have to... Um, try to explain a little bit only with words because the technical failed. Um, we see, ah, okay, it's back. No, it's not back, okay. <laughs> um, you see it very, very detailed. That is, was with a one lens solution, what not, not possible. Okay, I tried. The, the second solution I want to present to you was, um, our completely new L2, our no, new LiDAR from DJI that we released at um, th uh, Tuesday. And um, here I can show you the first results also uh, from a construction uh, site. Um, but we have to postpone that. Please come to our booth at Hall 27, then I can show you the data also in real time. Um, and then we can discuss all the things that you want to ask. Um, and we see with this simple solutions that we can increase all the questions and we can answer the questions round about how to collect uh, the data from a digital twin. Okay, with, without the presentation, <laughs> I'm a little bit limited. So thank you very much for joining, for, for visiting us, and I'm, at, with the first speaker, I'm in time, I see, and I hand over to the next presenters.